All right, man. Got Carson Wentz getting released. We're going to get into that. Dame Dollar scoring 71. And a lot of other things we need to get into, man. What's, what's going on with you, man? Hey, man, it's, it's a Monday. It's a Monday, bro. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Definitely a Monday. All right, a- episode 46. Welcome to the Life Zone Podcast. I'm your co- co-host, Eric Cranell. And I'm Xavier Lanier. All right. And, um, yeah, so thank you for joining. All you looking at us on uh, live right now, we appreciate that. Uh, feel feel free to chime in and join the conversation as it's going along. So looking forward to hearing from you. But um, yeah, chime in with us, man. Um, episode forty six. I know you got to dig deep in the crate. Give me a give me a jersey number for this one. What? I ain't go. I ain't go that far, man. You know, you see, you see the jerseys on the back, man. I'm going out for Morris on that real quick. See, that's, one time. I, I, I do. <laughs> I should have went first. That's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go out for one time. Be, being a Commanders fan, and we had to go it out for Morris. I, I got out for Morris too. I, you know, I, that's 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 where I stopped. That's my guy, man. Yeah, man. Um, let's get to Carson Wentz, man. I know you saw it go across today, man. What, what's your thoughts? I ain't got no, I ain't got no thought. It's, it's finances, bro. Anybody trying to pay that money? <laughs> yeah, so we save uh, twenty six million. Yep, that's all it's about. I will take finances. And I, 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 I actually was wrong. I was telling Tara today. I thought he had some guaranteed money, so it was no guaranteed money in that contract. No, no, no. He, uh, he, um, so he was playing for a contract, honestly. Right, right. But, but yeah, since you know. He didn't do so well, and then by him by, by, by releasing him and him not playing, I think what seventy percent of the snap, right? Protect our draft pick too. So yes, sir, yes, sir. Get him out of here. See you later, bro. Yeah, De- definitely a good move. I'm 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 all on board for that. So uh, we got the enemy in the house now. We got uh, Sam Howell. Looks like he's gonna be in the back, be in the backfield on the center. So uh, did I ask you your feelings on Sam Howell, or are you? Uh- I mean, yeah. I want to see. What, I, I'm. I hope he. I want to see what the young fella does, man. I trust Eric Bieniemy. His track record uh, is, you know, it's, it's a butter pro. So mm-hmm. if you think Sam is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and ride with that, man. I, the coaches see more more film than we do. You know what I'm saying? So um, you gotta trust their decisions, right? We, we yeah. see what Heineken can do. We already understand his limitations. So yeah. I mean, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Well, some criticism going on with Eric Bieniemy right now, particularly with your boy uh, Shady. Shady McCoy. I don't know if you heard his comments. I, I saw something about. It. I didn't actually get into the details, man. I don't necessarily. I don't know how I feel about that kind of stuff. He was hating. Uh, Shady McCoy was on, obviously on the roster. Got some playing time. Fumbled the ball. Got benched. Got a championship. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting on the bench, but he had some some comments about Eric Bieniemy that uh, it, it sounded more like hate to me than coming from. Something he how he really felt. I think it was all hate. Yeah, man. So that's what I'm saying, right? We like. I just don't. I just don't get it, bro. Like professional athletes, man, making millions of dollars. Probably got to be tearing each other down, man. Talking about some nonsense. Like, I understand you got feelings too, man, but you're still a professional. Like, keep that. If it ain't just in the world we live in, bro, we just can't be like just trying to find some positivity in the world, man. <laughs> it's just it's like come on, bro. Like God, Lee, what more do you want the man to do? Yeah, hey, I'm with you. I, and, and then, like you know, what I'm saying people are saying that they felt like Andy Reid kind of set him up, like he really didn't put him out front to to make it like he was calling the plays and all that. So, but look, I, I, I'm one of those people, man. Like you, you could tell me all you want to, but the fact is. He got opportunity now. You know Ron Rivera ain't gonna be able to call the plays. We know no, that. Ron, yeah, this could be Ron the whole game right here. This this Ron right here. <laughs> them, them dark shades on. Hey, straight face. Like Ron, Ron gonna be straight confused with it when he's gonna be sitting on the field. Like this yeah. ain't look nothing like this last year. Right, right, right. Ron play is third down or fourth down. What we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what we doing? So shout out to my man Fred Adams. Talk about he said Shady is hating for real. I agree with that. Thank you. Definitely. You're right, man. You're right, bro. I just, I just can't right now with the hate, bro. It's just, it's enough in the world, man. We need to be trying to be positive on this. One. Yeah. Well, uh, Justin Fields. They, uh, there's some rumors out there that Bears thinking about moving on from him, maybe trading that, or, uh, you know, they got that top pick, so it's a possibility for them to move on from that pick too. I don't know which way. I, I'm hearing a lot of rumors, but the combine obviously hadn't kicked off yet, so. 
you know, things kind of seemingly changed during the calm down when it comes to, to making those picks. So you think they should keep them? I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen Justin Fields play enough to have an opinion on him. <clears throat> Although I do understand. Unfortunately, man, the NFL is a what have you done for me lately league, bro. Like, mm-hmm. You're not performing right. They're going to be looking at all their options, all their options. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there's a quarterback in the draft that ain't could come in and, and make them competitive, then they probably won't pull that trigger. Uh, I heard the NFL was pushing Joe Burrow as the, the next best thing, mm. right? So if Joe Burrow is the prototype, then that's what they're looking for. That's what all NFL teams are going to be looking for, Yeah. right? Now, how you say he the next best thing when there's another dude in Kansas City wearing number 15 that's pretty much running the league right now Yeah. yeah. at 27 years old? I don't know how you just skip over him and get to Joe Burrow. Right. Yeah. I feel like, you know, the NFL is doing what the NFL does <laughs> when it comes to, to stuff like this. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, Joe Burrow's not a bad pick. I mean, you know, as far as and let's be honest, watching that game, Cincinnati lost that game. Right. They they, they didn't. They could have beat Kansas City. Exactly. And the narrative would have been yet again, Patrick Mahomes never beat Joe Burrow. Sounds good, but Patrick Mahomes did beat Joe Burrow. No, he did. He did. And he did win his second. And then he did win his second Super Bowl. Yeah, that, that, that he did. That he did. So I mean, at this point, I would say this is Patrick Mahomes' league, right? Yeah, the dude, yeah. the dude is he's at the top of the mountain right now. He's been there for three, four years now. Mm-hmm. Right. So until y'all, until somebody beats him consistently, like you can't say. <laughs> Somebody who ain't won yet is the next best thing, right? Yeah. You have a proven winner standing right before you. Yeah. But again, oh, but again, the NFL does what the NFL does, man. Hey, that, that prototypical quarterback in the NFL has always been six three, six five, uh blonde haired, blue eyed, man. So mm. you know, Patrick Mahomes is not blonde haired, blue eyed. So I'm I'm just gonna Throw that out there. Yeah, no, I feel you. With that being said, NFL is doing what the NFL does. <laughs> I do have a funny story about Joe Burrow that I heard today, though. What's that? that? Um, he was in. He was nine years old. He was a uh, playing an AU basketball game. Mm-hmm. Um, Thirty seconds ago, they were down by nine points or eight points. Yeah, eight points. Mm-hmm. And um, he scored the next nine. Seven of those were free throws. The coach of that team was a um, sociology or psychology. I can't remember which one, but something he for the for the uh, University of Ohio University. That's who he mm-hmm. was. Mm-hmm. And um, he went to Joe Barrow's parents at the end of the game. He said, I "Just want to let you know that your son has a, a rare trait. He's he's got the the mentality of a uh, first responder, police officer, and a serial killer." Mm. And he said, with, during, with my study and my expertise, thank God he became a quarterback because he could have been the next Jeffrey Dahmer. He's talking about how my man is just unflappable. He, you know, he doesn't change. His blood pressure doesn't change. So, hey, I, I can hear that, man. And when you hear Joe Burrow talk, you believe that that dude is just yeah. That yeah. dude is just all confidence, bro. Every interview is the same. Every time yeah. you talk, every interview is the same. That dude's all confidence, man. So I, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. We think about Dame scoring seventy one, man. Hey, man, you know, Dame time, bro. Dame been on his on his game since he won that three point contest. Yeah, I said, I'm I'm with Dame, man. The only thing is, I, I know we're in this age now where everybody want to shuffle and move around, and he's the anti that. You think Dame should stay in Portland, man? Yep, I think he should. Uh, and at the end of the day, man, like Dame has already overachieved. Right, coming mm-hmm. out of out of Weber State, um, so no matter what he does, man, he's gonna be all right. He's gonna be do what's best for him and his family, and and the city of Portland loves him. Um, mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you, there are some folks. I would I would venture to say that there probably are some players in the league who wouldn't mind going to Portland to play with him. Um, yeah, but it's, so it's, yeah, I, it, I think he should stay. It's one of those places though where it's like, can you recruit somebody there? Can he get somebody to come there? 
Yeah, I mean, they would be just they would be there just for him. Um, but Port, you Portland is one of those places, man. You, you're not going to be there during the offseason. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. If you into that type of thing, it's a lot going on out there in Portland. Is it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, well, I, I don't know, I know about that. I ain't, in, I ain't into it. I have no idea what you're referring to. It's a lot going on out there in Portland. Hey, man, look. If you into that type of thing. Hey, man, look. I, I, I hope that yeah, he like it. I love it, man. He he out there having a good time, living his life, and playing his, doing his thing. So I, I would stay if I was him. Like, at this point, super teams, is, they're, they're fading away. So, mm. Fading away. Yeah, like you, you saw how that went down in Brooklyn, right? Nah, so that, that's a wreck. See, you got you had the nucleus of two people in there that it just none of neither one of them are really about basketball. What? Kyrie Kyrie, all about basketball. Kyrie ain't about basketball, man. That, that's Kyrie, man. The KD was all about ball. KD is James Harden ain't. Oh, well, James Harden is at the age now. He wants to be carried. Like he, he don't want to be the Houston yeah. James. He wants to be uh, <laughs> he wants to be the third wheel. He needs somebody to help him get on the finish line. He can't do it by himself. He didn't realize that. And you know, in Philadelphia. The funny thing about the East is, you know, LeBron got up out of there on the East, go West, and these dudes still can't dominate over there because Giannis there now, and then you got Jason Tatum oh, there now. Now Jason Tatum is is. Still young man, his prime. At some point, he's gonna be the man in the East. Giannis, oh, you know how I feel about Giannis, bro. I know. <laughs> you know how I feel about that dude, man. Bro. Listen, he but he keep proving us wrong, though. I mean, he, he is. No, no, no. He ain't proving me wrong. Okay. He just happens to be the face of the league, which means he gets that 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 treatment. But okay. real basketball players to watch Giannis play understand, dude. Dude only got three moves, bro. I... <laughs> but listen. Only, uh, these moves, they ain't stopping the door, X. Yeah, because they these dudes is millionaires, man. Nobody trying to take that punishment. That's all that is. The dude yeah. got three moves, bro. Yeah. Take a charge once or twice, he's gonna be in foul trouble. He can't do that shit no more. And That's I, all that I, is, man. I would have never thought, kind of expanding what we talk about with Portland. I would have never thought they'd better build a team out there in, in Milwaukee. Never. I mean, look, at the, look at the dudes they got though. Right. Like, could, Chris Chris Middleton ain't ain't a big city kid, man. He likes it out there. Like right. cool. and, and uh who's the porter the the the, the swing man like bobby porters yeah he be cool right like, yeah hey this ain't no these ain't no no big city dudes man they they cool with the, with the small town feel being they pretty much run the city like wherever they go they getting in yeah like they ain't got a wait line no restaurants they ain't got to wait no 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 after hour spots like they good man yeah but I you mean. know you go to la with that they're gonna be like who <laughs> you you see Bobby Portis in LA? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I don't see Bobby Portis getting in nowhere in LA off the strength of I'm Bobby Portis. Like, nah, that ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> well, since since you brought up LA, and my, I know my man Fred watching the uh, watching us live right now. You know, he's an LA fan. They could probably use Bobby Portis right now. They could yeah. probably use Brooke Lopez right now. Hey man, don't be don't be saying that out loud. You you saw they just came back with twenty seven points down. That's a whole mm. new squad out there, man. Yeah, that's it's a whole it's a whole new squad, bro. That's the NBA Finals. Hey, they're gonna be AC. Trust me. <laughs> they're gonna be AC, man. Watch what I tell you. They're gonna find a way to get LeBron in the playoffs, buddy. You better believe that. They at thirteenth right now. Huh? They at thirteenth seed right now. Somewhere somewhere around there, 12, 13. Like they're the only thirteenth seed we talk about all season long. Right? Listen, the you, only one. I listen. Just so everybody know, X feels like the NBA has a script that they're going to figure out a way to get the Lakers and LeBron in the playoffs. Absolutely. You know who's going to derail that, though, right? No. Street clothes going to derail that. Street clothes ain't going to finish the season, man. You know hey, he got a, hey, hey, man, he got a new nickname, man. He got a new name, bro. He got to go with uh, every time he grimaces. That's three weeks. <laughs> every time he grimaces, he's going to be out three weeks. <laughs> hey, I, uh, somebody said, uh, what's the name? February 20, 28th. Uh-huh. They said any day now he could be done for the rest of the season. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, any any day now he could be done the rest of the season. Any day. I, I know my man Fred be watching the game. He be I know he 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 watching looking at the screen close. Every time my man grimace, he he get a quick limp, like he twists his ankle. That's it. I mean, every time he fall, he's like, get up, Craig. Get up. Get up, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he fall, man, you pray he get up. Get up, Craig. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> so you you like this team better? The squad they got now? Um, we'll see. Uh, you know they got to gel and then they got to go through their paces, man. But mm. 
they're gonna make a push. LeBron took his week off, so he's he's re-energized. Mm. You know, so they're gonna make a push, man. I don't they, they, at, at worst kind of, push kind of they're gonna be in the playing game, and then that you know how it's gonna go. So, mm. so uh, they're gonna, they gonna figure it out. Potentially, they'd be playing the Nuggets. What's that matchup look like? LeBron is gonna get it in the final. LeBron gets into the playoffs. I'm telling you. Oh, oh, okay. You no, you. I said this is. Oh, talking about the being a note. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be a tough one. Yeah. Um, I know we ain't gonna be happy about that. Them Denver Nuggets. Mm. What you mean we got LeBron in the first round? What you mean <laughs> we could be eliminated right now? We'll, we'll see, man. A couple of Kentucky guys on that squad too kind of helped. Throwing it out there. Kentucky guys on what squad? The LA squad. They ain't they, they doing too much help. They probably was there before the trades. Ah, Vanderbilt was the reason why they won yesterday. Was he? Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you do? What do you do? What was the stat line? Jason Kidd. I know you got it. I, 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 don't, it I don't remember the stat line, but I know Jason Kidd called it out. He said, Vanderbilt kicked our, you know what? Man, Jason Kidd had something to say. I know you got the stat line pulled up. What did it say? Nah, I ain't got it up, man. What, what, it, it, what it, 15, 10, and 5? What was it? It was nice. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to find a way to get them to get, to get boys some shine, man. You get the boys some shine. Every chance you get. So who you, uh, who you got coming out the East then? I'm going to go with Boston, go, man. You got Boston? Yeah, I'm going to go with that for right now. As long as them boys stay healthy. Mm. It's tough out, man. I still playoff wise, I still don't see I still don't see anybody beating the Bucks, man. I hear you, bro. Are you right? You know why? Because can't nobody take that charge. That's why. Okay. Can't nobody take that charge. Hey, I, I did it again, bro. You know, you, you mentioned the Bucks. You know, I've been playing NBA 2K now. I did it again, bro. Just, <laughs> every time we play the Bucks, man, Giannis get the running around, knocking people all all, all out of bounds, dunking and kind of man. I'd be like. See, this is why. This is it right here, man. Yeah. I mean, it's no different than what they had to guard when they guard Shaq. Yeah, it was way different. Shaq had post moves. What you and mean? Shaq had, Shaq's post move was legitimate post moves, man. Were, like, they were? Yeah. Like the spin. Like, everybody know you spin with your elbows locked. You go catch it. It's a legal move, though. That like it was, it, it was, he ain't just running people over. Come on. Shaq, bro. Shaq wasn't? Nah, he wasn't just running people over. Oh, X. Now he wasn't getting up. Shaq would not get the ball at the three-point line, top of the key, take two steps back and just go to the basket. That's not Shaq. No, nah, no, nah, I agree with that. I agree. Shaq it, get the it, ball it, in the box. Now, he going to back you in and, yeah. and then dunk and hang on the rim with his legs wrapped around you. That's Shaq. Yeah. Right. But he ain't running nobody over. He just digging at everybody. It's two I, different things. Two different things. Well, we, we both agree. I, I don't like Giannis' game, but listen. Uh, Milwaukee love it. They got a lot yeah, of success they, coming out of that. Uh, absolutely, they do. They gonna love them too. Hey, hey, congrats, congrats to them. Man. It worked. The refs is on their side. The, the rule book is on their side. Mm-hmm. Hey, they just they just making the best of it. Hey, not ho- not hating on Missoula, Coach Missoula, but I feel like he inherited the team through some unfortunate circumstances that we ain't got to bring up. But hey, man, right place, right time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for me, Mike Brown got to be coach of the year. Why? What? You don't see what the Kings is doing? What they got? What they got to do with coach of the year though? They fourth seed. You you see what what Mike? You know what the argument is for that though. You see what Mike Mazzula did on the heels of all that controversy to keep that locker room together and do what he doing. Yeah, he inherited a team, though, man. Yeah. Plenty of plenty of animosity in that locker room, man. That that thing could have went sideways quick. And I then I'll tell you. And then it would have been like, oh, well, you know, they had not in it. They got all these distractions is the word that have been used, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He squashed all that, man. Hey, we could play basketball. That's so what we going to do. To the tune of number one seed in the East right now. And listen, I, I don't want to hate on the man. I don't. But Mike Jones, we talking about. We I'm talking about Mike Brown. We talking about what happened, what's going on. In, we're talking about Sacramento. I understand. They fought. When last, when last time Sacramento been good? Chris see Webber now. Chris Webber and the boy. Yeah, hey, I mean, that's – and they fourth seed? All right. Fourth seed. They ain't, ain't number one. Oh, man. They ain't, they ain't number one. I'm just saying, man. I might throw a wager down. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I saw – because they won it, too. It's Mike – it's Missoula, and then it's, it's uh, Mike Brown, number two. So I, I, I'm not far off. You better go with Missoula. 
Oh, well, you know what? I, you know what? The NBA is not the NFL, so Mike Brown got a shot. Yeah, he got a shot. Absolutely. Yeah, Mike, Mike Brown got a shot, man. So yeah. If he wins it, congratulations. It'd be, what, his second one, I think? Then he get one in Cleveland with LeBron? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be number two for him. Congratulations, Mike. I think this is far better coaching job because you got LeBron playing in the East. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. You win it, you win it. You're just you, right place, right time. As you can say about that. Just saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you heard about this Byron Jones story? Court, no. Uh, yeah, he was a cornerback. He got drafted by the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Um, I think he had a pretty good contract. He was drafted first round. But um, ahead of the in, in the NFL combine, he basically was talking about how today he can't run or jump. And mm. it's because he took the pills and took the injections. He basically was sending a message to all the kids coming in the NFL, said that, you know, he wouldn't change anything, but he paid a hefty price for playing the NFL and all that good stuff. So, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Unfortunately, that's the, that's the downfall to um, getting stuff, getting like these immediate, um, this immediate treatment to get you on the field, man. Like nobody thinks about the long term effects of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and this sounds like one of those long term effects, right? Yeah. It's gonna numb your pain for now, but while you are here on this broken ankle, you go make you gonna be causing yourself more damage long term right. to that ankle, um, even though you can't feel that pain. Yeah, it's like I mean, look at look at I mean, I, I consider that I hate to bring it up, but like look at the you ever seen NBA players' feet? Oh yeah, All right. Them, them dudes have to be going through some kind of pain for them the way them toes be leaning sideways, left and right, and all that kind of stuff. Man, they gotta be doing something. You maybe think of Shaq's feet when you say that. LeBron too. Hey, yeah. Hey, Le- but I'm just saying, man. Like when you look at that kind of stuff, like in the immediate, in the immediate, it doesn't matter. But long term, it's gonna matter. But it's funny that we celebrate it though. Though we look at it as a mantle of uh, toughness when these guys decide to get back on the field. Like I remember, um, Ladamian Thomas. Remember he got criticized during that playoff game. Mm-hmm. He got hurt. Yeah. He had his helmet on. They was telling him he needed to get back on the field. Stephen right. A was one of them. Man, I remember the days. The days when Ryan Lott played a broken hand, bro. Mm. Like a broken hand. Like then he, he, did, with a. But then he cut the finger off too. Yeah, that was out, him. Yeah, after the fact, he had to. But he had a broken hand at the time. Mm. Look at Dion. Dion got eight, eight toes down now. Dion's new name is Eight Toes Down. <laughs> Shady shop game. Shady shot eight toes down. <laughs> hey, my, hey, no matter what, my man will be eight toes down for you, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. But you play baseball and football. So hey, appreciate the stat line, uh, Fred. Uh Vanderbilt got 15 points, 18 rebounds. Hey, we're gonna have to put put uh we're gonna have to put Fred on 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 uh, research duty. <laughs> Kentucky, Kentucky Wildcats, baby. Let's go. Uh, I knew it was I knew it was some kind of connection, man. He, he a oh, wildcat. Nah, he he actually, a, unfortunately, a Michigan fan, but, you know, he, you know, mm. he's a Michigan guy. Thank, thanks, Fred, for look, looking out for us, man. We appreciate that, brother. <laughs> you know, Mr. Kentucky over there, he, like, he appreciates that more than I do. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man, let me ask you a question. So, did you hear about the, the coach in South Carolina, the female coach? Uh, Staley? No, it was some. Um, it may have been high school. It okay, may have been junior college. I can't remember, but she was the coach of the team, like a, like a like a assistant coach or whatever. And I guess they were short short coach players. She uh, decides to go out here and play. I don't like the way you're going with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's 21, 22, 23 year old woman. Uh huh. Are here against these high schoolers. Had to be high school. They were 16, 17. But how did she get away with this? How she Hold on. She did, but she so they let her play and she out here killing them. So somebody said, hey, she ain't whatever the age group is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, she's now unemployed. She had a flashback. She's out there yeah. giving buckets. Hey man, I don't know what she was thinking, but she went out there and played out here throwing shots up against the wall, like blocking shots up against the wall. <laughs> Hey, you know she kept. You know she kept the tape though. 
Debo and in for layups, like shooting free throws, all kind of stuff, man. Like, what is she out here doing, man? But X, X, you know she kept the film, though. You know she that. Had, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, she better hope she gets some money off of it because she ain't got no job. <laughs> yeah, she was released. How in the world do you, I, I, don't, I don't even know how you even think of that's like, a what good was, idea. What, you, what made you think that was okay? Like, what <laughs> what's that? What in your brain say? Yeah, I can go out here and play. What? Uh, oh man. Mm-mm. Even if you did go out here, you better be standing around somewhere and not getting in any trouble. You ain't trying to cause no attention to your son. Mm-hmm. She out here like looking like she belong to WNBA somewhere, killing it. Killing All right, uh, hey, she ain't she ain't uh, she ain't in this age group. Uh, Lamar Jackson still doesn't have a contract, man. What's going on? We already talked about this. Like the dude is not getting a contract. They're gonna franchise him and then he's gonna leave. Period. Mm. At this point, the trust has been broken. I, I wouldn't, if I was him, I, I wouldn't have any faith in him to do the right thing. And I, and I can't play for that. I can't support that organization. Yeah. He's going he gonna to get his little franchise situation and he's going to have to make a decision. Do I play or do I not? And then he's going to have to go on somewhere. I'm trying to see what that looks like. I mean, the only place he could go is Miami. He got to go to Miami. Man, I'm pretty sure there are plenty of teams that want him. Where could he fit is the question. Um, I don't see him going to Miami because they still got faith in Tua. So, and then can can Lamar throw the ball to to your boy down the field? It's a lot of speed on the field at once. Yeah, though. that that right. And, and he ain't got no creative mind as a as an offensive coach to get them both in the backfield to mm-hmm. with some with some some wildcat type stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Lamar gonna be who Lamar is. He gonna get his money from somewhere. Uh, sad part is, like we said, it just take it. It shouldn't have to. He, he should have to go through all this just to get paid. Get get paid his work. Uh, Sucks for Baltimore because they might be out of quarterback. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, speaking of Tua, by the way, did you hear uh, what he's taking up now to help uh, fix his fall? Like what you, protect what pr- protect when he fall on the ground. What is he wearing? All kind of protective. They got some padding coming out somewhere. What? Like now, the dude. The dude. He's either taking kung fu or taekwondo to help right with uh, <laughs> help with falling. What? What is this? What is, yeah, what is, what is, what is, what, yeah. Right. How does that affect the three hundred pound dude falling on top of you? Like, I'm just saying, I don't understand. Falling is not the issue. It's getting hit is the problem. All right, falling how you fall ain't the issue. It's how you get hit. All right, you yeah. get hit by three hundred pound dudes, bro. That's not. That ain't gonna do what you. I mean, you gonna hit the ground after the fact. But they yeah. said they said Tom Brady, whatever training he was taking, they said that was the one thing the reason why he never got concussion. Man, Tom Brady just did. He understood get to the ground, wait for the next play. Him and uh, Peyton Manning and uh, Eli Manning. Yeah, but he, you. You watch clips of Eli Manning when he gets sacked and how fast he gets to the ground. Like he ain't take he ain't trying to break no tackles, he ain't trying to do nothing. Old like a lawn chair. Next play. That's something Tua can't do, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't see Tua as the long term so- solution. I know uh coach there, man, tried to make it a little bit better because he went through some rough times with uh the previous regime that was there, but I don't know how you're gonna handle that. Unfortunately, man, it's just some folks are just injury prone. It's just the way it is. And then there are some folks that are not. And Tua is one of those that's injury prone. Three clothes. Three clothes. Right. LeBron is LeBron is Iron Man, right? The dude right. just doesn't get injured outside of like, I mean, he might roll his ankle or something, but until here recently, he's like the dude hasn't gotten injured, right? Yeah. But then, like you said, Anthony Davis, like, the dude just can't stay healthy. <laughs> Zion Williamson just can't stay healthy. It's just oh, not, not at all. No. Nah. It's just not in their DNA, bro. So I got this from uh, Brad Goff in our group, man. And uh, I can't tell if it's fake or not, but it looks like it came from Adam Schefter. But it says, with the commander's release of Carson Wentz, they now seem we have their sights set on a QB in the upcoming draft as they've completed their trade with the Bears to obtain the number one pick overall in the two, the so Bears get the number one overall pick, the 2023 seventh round pick, and the Bears would get 
16th overall round pick, second round pick, 2024 first round pick, 2025. Nah, this has got to be. Man, fake. I'm about to turn to ESPN right now. Let's that, that's got it. That's fake. It, it, they got Jonathan Allen and Chase Young. In, I mean, yeah, Chase Young in there too. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Yeah, that's got to be fake. I did hear that uh, your boy can't make a bid, which kind kind of upset me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, he said he said it's fake. He created. It. Yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, I'm uh, I, I did hear that Jeff Bezos couldn't be for the squad. So that's said he right. couldn't. Yeah, it's some I don't know some that may that may or may not be fake. I didn't read into the story, but I heard he couldn't make a bid. Mm. Um, so that 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 bothered me. I was hoping he was he was in there. Yeah, because the last I had uh, read about it, he um he had hired some investment bankers or to to go out and analyze the deal. Mm. So it must be new. Okay, all right. Yeah, it may, it may be something behind the scenes that he did or didn't do that that's caused him to back out of it or not be not be able to. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that it'll be discussed here shortly on one of these networks. So uh whatever it is, we gotta get the ceilings high. We gotta give a man up out of there. Oh uh, he he gone. He already put the house up. He already made made arrangements to leave. He's just waiting on the on the paycheck. Somebody gotta buy him out. So that's gonna happen. Just a matter of who it is and when. Speaking of uh, previous owners that got ousted, uh, the owner for the Sun, previous owner, you saw where he had cut a check and paid all those bonuses back to employees. Mm hmm. I did. Not bad. It didn't. I mean, it's okay, Justin. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, when you got it, man, you 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 can do that. Yeah. Uh, especially when you came up the way that you did on that 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 Sun's purchase. Like these it's NBA teams, man, they 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 going for a pretty big penny compared to what they were bought for 20, 25 years ago. Right, right. Like you're looking at it. What was it? The Clippers was probably sold at like they were bought at probably 500, 600, 700,000, somewhere around there. Yeah. And they were sold at what 20 billion? Like yeah. whatever your boy paid for. Like that's a that's nice big, that's a pretty big come up. Yeah, I agree. So I mean that's pretty much what all these teams are going for now. Like the, the, the current owners pay a couple hundred million for them. Yeah, when they get ready to sell, it's gonna be billions. I definitely agree. So Brad asks where where does the commanders go for QB? Do we look at Derek Carr? I think we're going nah. to, we're gonna stick with Sam Howell, man. Yeah, we either got Sam Howell or Heineke, man. I don't think or you know, if something comes up in the draft, then I'm open to that. Um, but these aging quarterbacks, I think at this point, um, we we need to we got a, we got a young offensive core. We need to get young at QB as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I feel like we need to see what we got on the on the roster with Sam Howell and, and Heineke, and probably draft a quarterback, right, and then go from there. But yeah, we can't. We already tried to bring in a veteran guy. It didn't work out so well for us. We don't, we didn't try to bring in a few veteran guys, and they, they didn't pan out. So let's let's let's, let's see what the draft got for us. Man, I don't remember the last veteran guy that Washington Redskins or Commanders brought in that actually worked out. Alex Smith. Oh, that one. Be yeah, before, he got, before he got hurt. But I give you that of, Yeah, outside of that, yeah, it didn't work out. It hasn't worked out very well. Yeah, we tried mm -hmm. Bruce, Bruce Smith. We tried uh, Dion. Yeah. Stubblefield. Yep. We yep. tried a whole bunch of them. All these guys, man. We bring in all these veteran guys trying to buy our way into the playoffs or championship. It didn't work out for us. Mm -hmm. um, these guys are past their prime and they're just collecting these checks. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and continue the movement, continue the youth movement. I'm with that. Yeah, we got a young defense, we got a young offense. Let's go ahead and try to get young QB too. I mean, it's going to be tough to watch because we're going to have to take our lumps, but hey, man, it's, it's part of the game. What about Aaron Rodgers? He came out of, came out of the, his Hobbit house. Came out of rehab, you said, huh? Came out of hiding, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, we're going to see. Like, he's going to stay in Green Bay, though. You think Green Bay? Yeah. He can't. Like, check's too big. Like, he can't go nowhere if he wanted to. You don't, think so the, think, you don't think the Jets are paying him even more money? I mean, the, the Jets are paying more money, but is he chasing money at this point? If, I, if, I, if I had to be honest, you got Aaron Rodgers over here. The Jets over here. I mean, the Green Bay over here. Jets over here. If you take Aaron Rodgers and put him with the Jets, and that that team, what I saw last year with the defense and the offense, they're better than Green Bay. 
I, I I hear you, man, but they're still the Jets. I get I get what you're saying. <laughs> I get right. what you're saying. But that that Jets team, first of all, I would say I won a lot of money off the Jets team last year. I bet you did. Man. But that Jets team, uh, that Jets team, defense and offense, and they're young and they got a run game. I don't know the kid got hurt last year, but they got a run game too. They'll run through that in a, that that division. I bet you they won't, because when Aaron Rodgers come in, they're not gonna be running the ball no more. Cause he don't run the ball. That's not his that's not his that's not his go to. He he needs to be throwing these little short outs, right? Yeah. That's Aaron, that's Aaron Rodgers' game. So that run game you, you speak of would be null and void. Yeah. <laughs> when Aaron Rodgers comes to town. It's just the way the the way the NFL is, man. Like um, I think personally he should probably I think he was I think he should stay in Green Bay. Just, just saying. You think right. he should, or you think that's what he will do? I think it's both. I think both. I mm. think he should, and he, and he like, they got rid of Devontae Adams, bro. Like, how you gonna lose Aaron Rod- Devontae Adams one year and then Aaron Rodgers the next? Yeah, I, I just and expect I, to stay competitive. Per, personal, like me, I, I don't want to see him in Green Bay. I want to see what he would look like somewhere else before it, before it's all over. We we you think Green Bay gonna let that man go with Jordan Love ain't ready to play no football? No, no, I, I I'm saying what I hope. I'm not saying what will happen. I'm saying what I would like to see. I we've seen this story before. We've seen the Green Bay story. I, I don't. In fact, I I'd rather see him outside the NFC. Right? It, that's one less quarterback we got to worry about. I mean, sure, but yeah he he I don't, I don't see him going away like you said we went through this whole drama last year the year before that like mm-hmm. the dude gonna be right there in green bay next year playing he gonna come out right before otas and hit you with the relax mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm back let's do this thing yeah, All right, I, that's, just, that's that's his mo man like aaron Rodgers is is the new Brett far when it comes to, he the drama queen man like yeah all eyes all eyes on me like yeah but he ain't going ain't nothing gonna change <clears throat> He can't. I mean, what do you think about Russ, uh, your boy Russ? Man, look, I've heard that. Uh, I'm I'm shocked to hear that Russell is not the guy that he pretends to be. Hmm. Um, with that being said, I think at this point in Russell's career, like he's just already to play. He's just already to play, man. Like he didn't already won a Super Bowl. He didn't already got all that kind of stuff like his true colors are shining and then like at the end of the day like he going home to sierra like yeah yeah i mean I don't, like for him it's like i don't need to be in the club man i don't have to run the streets i don't have to do that kind of stuff to be one of the guys man right. like you, you see what's at my house right now like i'm cool bro yeah right y'all go, y'all go and do your thing y'all go buy all the bottles and the champagne and do all that stuff man i'm i'm i'm, I'm going over here even if Russ, hotel. even if Russ yeah. wanted to be one of the guys, he can't be one of the guys. He, he's yeah, he just, just can't. It, it ain't in him. It's just it not in him. him. It ain't in him, man. He, he's a family guy. He's 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 a he's a husband, a father. Like that's yeah. that's what's important to him at this point in his life. Now I don't I don't know how true it is, but uh, what I've been seeing the headlines coming out of from Sean Payton. Sean Payton said Russ gonna fall in. Like that whole parking spot, that preferred parking spot, and the office and all that—that that, that, that's been taken away. Well, when you got Sean Payton coming in, right, to establish order or a new order, right, and with his resume, mm-hmm. he has the the he has the clout to make those changes. Yep. Right to come in and say, "This is how it is. This is what works for me." Right, and my re- track record is what it is. So this is how we're gonna do it here in Denver. And you can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is how this is how I want to say in in the world. This is how I'm going in Denver. I'm not gonna deal with it. Yeah, I just say no. That that the other guy that that just left out of there, like that dude. Like he ain't had a bravado to manage his ego. So he wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see how this see. I mean, because now it, there's no excuses. I mean, that previous coach was. Complete trash. My man was was garbage. And, we saw and then I I expect Sean Payton to come in with an offense that Russ can can run with, right? Russ can can perform in. Yeah. Right. Sean Payton is offensive mind, and he's got some offensive weapons that I expect him to put to use. Yeah, get the gonna, get the most out of him. So we're gonna find out if that was all the coach or was that Russ this past season. We're gonna we going we'll find out. I'm saying it's the coach, and we're gonna see. I'm I'm betting on the coach on that one. Mm. 
like that. I mean, the coach is bad. Don't get me wrong, but Russ was bad, really bad. But like I said, like I said a few few episodes ago, man. Like as a coach, you have to protect your players from themselves, right? Mm-hmm. You got to put them in the best position to win. Like you can't have Russ out here on fourth and ten. Like no, that don't make sense. Yeah. Right? Sean Payton ain't doing that. Like fourth and three, fourth and two, fourth and four, maybe. Sean mm-hmm. might have a play in, in the mind to run this. But the the last guy didn't, didn't have no 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 go to plays in those situations, right? It was what do you think, Russ? Like, no, nah, I mean that's not how this works. Because yeah. when it when it fails, guess what? We all get the blame for that. Yeah. I, I hear what you're saying, but here's the thing. We're going to actually, so we fast forward, we had these episodes when the season's going on. Yeah. Those excuses you just said, those out the window. They done. There's Sean Payton on the sidelines now. It's it's Russ. Nah, uh, I can't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say go that far either now. Absolutely. Sean, Payton, Sean Payton's still human, and he can still make a mistake or two. Here, here's, here's what I'm, I heard way too many, and these are, outlets I listened to, I heard way too many GMs and people that analyze this stuff say that it was Russ for me not to believe it wasn't Russ. I heard way too hey, much man. of that. Man, I hear you. I hear you. And at the end of the day, I don't trust none of them because like, oh, everybody got an agenda, man. Well, here's so the, I trust, here's, here's I trust the my, own, my own four eyes on that yeah, one. I'll That's what I'm saying. So we're watching the same game. When I'm watching the same game, the Russ I saw in Seattle. Now, keep in mind, this is during the time where he was trying to fire uh, my man out there in Seattle. Right. He was still running this thing. So let me, let me ask you a question. Let me yep. ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, right? Mm-hmm. Fourth, like, then this is this is Russ in Seattle now. Yep. Fourth, fourth and one, Super Bowl, whatever that was. Mm-hmm. Right. Coach, tell you throw a slant. You gonna throw the slant? Depending on what kind of power you got. I mean, you got you got a uh, the hammer back here. Oh, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Right. I agree so, with that. And, and so that right there lets you know the kind of player that Russ is. Yep. Right. Because at the end of the day, Russ gonna do what the coach tell him to do. Yeah. Right. With that being said, if Sean Payton say do X, Y, and Z, Russ gonna do X, Y, and Z. Now, if it don't work, you can give some of the blame to Russ. But yeah. you also have to give the blame to the decision maker that said do X, Y, and Z, and it didn't work. Oh, I agree. Totally, totally agree with that. But I, what I'm saying, what I saw, totally two different Russes across the board. But again, we get to see it on field. So when we had this conversation, earmark right. this one. When we had this conversation, I'll be able to say, what did you see? Are you right? I'm be watching. So I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to follow Russ. Like I watched Colorado football this summer. Like I'm watching Colorado this year. I can't wait for that. Oh, I'm all over Dion, boy. I'm all over. I gotta go see one of them. I gotta get the full experience. I gotta see that in person. But what where, where they gonna be at it? on the East Coast? Though? Well, I don't know. So I gotta figure. I gotta figure that out. Oh, I know the Commanders coming to, coming to Atlanta. I know that much. Okay. All right. We'll we ain't coming. To, we're not coming to Charlotte this year. We'll be in Atlanta, so I had to check that out. And that's a, that's a big easy trip. Yeah, you know, down the bat, no problem. What else you but, got, man? What's 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 in the sports world for you? For you man, close out? I, I'm excited about uh, you know, it's almost we get we heading into March. You know what that means? Oh, I'm ready for that. I'm locked you know in. That, you know what that means? Try to get these brackets ready, man. Get these get these tournaments out the way, and then we're gonna fill out these brackets, bro. I'm excited uh, about that. Oh, by <laughs> the way, for everybody watching in fans club, we are doing a. Uh, March Madness bracket. There will mm-hmm. be a buy-in. You know, I don't do anything. Mm-hmm. I don't have a buy-in and a payment. So uh, you know this guy. This guy. We yeah. uh we definitely we put getting that start. So I'll put that <laughs> link in the <laughs> in the thread. <laughs> hey, I hope my hope my grandfather in. I don't know if I can do the buy-in. I ain't ready for the the, the, the betting world just yet. Hey man, speaking of betting world, did you hear that they, they go into some some kind of different kind of algorithm where you can like bet on plays? I can see that. It, it could be that instantaneous. Yeah. You can bet live now. <clears throat> the, only, the, only, the only challenge you're going to have, I can tell you, if you're in the stadium, that's different. Mm-hmm. But when you're at home, you know you got a delay. Mm. So you got to be careful about betting on betting live or betting plays because there's a delay. And that thing that's, switches just like that. Yeah, see, and that's my issue, right? Like, how much of a delay is it? Like, how do you – like, the instantaneous part is – is the part that trips me up. 
Yeah. Like you said, the game is is like if you like if you're in the stadium, you you watch the game, like you watch the play. Yeah. Right. And so what you see in the stadium, I'm gonna see 30 seconds later, right? A minute later, right? So how yeah. does that how do you verify who's where when it comes yeah. to that? I, I would I would I'm gonna wait and see how they do the per play, but now I have been live before. Like so like during the middle of the game, they change the line and say, Do you think somebody's gonna win by three? I've done that. I right. did it for, I did it for the Super Bowl. But I don't know about plays. That's going to be kind of interesting how they do that. Yeah, the algorithm is out there, man. I think FanDuel is the first one to – the first big one to test it out, right? Mm. Um, but I, I've heard that some other folks have started it or are trying to get it mainstream. So we'll see how it works out, man. Like this whole bed thing is about to get out of control. Oh, it's, it's There's so many different ways you can bet now, man. It's It's, it's crazy. But I'm one of those people, man. You got two cockroaches in a park racing. I'll bet on it. Yeah, I bet. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who really want this cheese? Come right. Get it. Right. <laughs> I know that's right. Well, I mean, it's gonna be. It's gonna be, man. I'm gonna have to. Like, I can't. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't there yet with the betting thing, man. I just. I'm on the. I'm. I'm on that one you were talking about, though. Prospect. Um. No, the one you was talking about. Going to Vegas and then betting for the winner every every week or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm on that one. I'm on yeah. that. I can I, I can I can do that. Yeah. You gotta that pick was... one winner every week. That's can't it. pick the same team. Yep. Once you, pick them, once you pick them, you can't go back to them. So yeah, I'm I'm with that one. Yeah. Shout out to Fred. Fred won one year. What? Fred. Fred won one. He he took some money from me. I still got to get that back from him though. Shout out to Fred. Man. Shout out to yeah. Jeremiah too for winning the the. The, the 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 fantasy league this year. Shout out to Jeremiah, man. He showed you the cheated. chain. He showed you the he, chain too. Yeah, I think I think he cheated, but I ain't you know <laughs> I don't want to lodge a complaint. He watch it right now too. Yeah, I bet his father's the the commissioner, so I guess my complaints are gonna go and fall on that video. Nah, so. nah. <laughs> Hey, he took my money too, just like he took yours. He took mine too. Hey, man, but I don't know how that works out, man. Because if you need a little something, he got you. I mean, y'all in the same house, so let's let's come on now. That's he might have bought you true. dinner. One. He might have bought you dinner once or twice. Come on, now. he might have. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's all good, man. He did show me the chain too. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Well, man, we go ahead and close it out, man. What you got? Hey, man, appreciate y'all for watching, man. We trying this Facebook Live thing, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in on that. Uh, we can also catch us on YouTube if if, uh, if you need to. Mm-hmm. If you get us on Apple. If you get us on Apple Podcast, be sure to leave us a review. Uh, Outside of that, man, we're going to try to think again next week. Until then, hey. Before we leave, though, uh, be sure to check us out on podcast on the Spotify. Give us five stars only. If it's less than five stars, don't even don't even rate anything. Just do five stars. That's all we need. Mm, okay. Yeah, don't don't even don't even bother following. Hey man, I need me in New Jersey for my wall back here. Who are you thinking? Your jersey? I need oh, me in New Jersey for the wall back here, man. What you thinking? Where you got you got man, Doug Williams over there? Is that Sean Taylor over there? Yeah, absolutely. You get you a. I mean, Sam Howell might earn a spot up there. You never know. Oh, he got a couple years to go for you get this wall. The Super Bowl. <laughs> he got. Yeah, he, he gonna need to. He gonna need to put a, put a bowl, put a put a ring on it before you get to this wall, bro. <laughs> put, a, put a ring on it. <laughs> Your championship ring, bro. <laughs> when you get to this wall, man. <laughs> Just saying. Wait, it's been a little while, man. So uh, we gotta we gotta do something about that. We'll figure something out. All right, man. Well, shout out to everybody. Appreciate Brad and Fred and everybody else for checking in, man. Like X said, peace. Peace.